gotta stick this uh, shock out of here. So, uh, putting the drive line that I just got from eBay, and uh, this is what I did I disconnected the shock. I was gonna, well, I did unscrew it, but it didn't come out, and I wasn't planning. I keep pounding on that thing and ruin something, so I just left it, disconnected this bolt and this bolt, which was easy, dropped this uh, A arm lower, and it looks like I shouldn't have any issues putting it back in there. So, uh, we'll see what happens. All right, so, yeah, piece of cake. Put those back. That's in there. Really, it was not that hard at all. Can't say that it was hard. Um, I just put it back in kind of the same order I got it back uh, out. So, that way it didn't fight me. I did forget to say that I disconnected the brake line from there. So that way the arm when it comes down doesn't just yank on the uh, brake line. So just gotta put the bolts back on. Gotta re this thing right here. And um, axle's back in there. I'm gonna look and see. Not look and see, I'm probably gonna have to change that oil on that thing. And of course, you know, I'll do a better job on once it's proven running and stuff like that as in like clean it up, re-grease it and all that. And it's an experience. I can't talk that I know. I don't know, you know. So this is just basically how I did it. But it is simple. I think it's very easy. I still try and get this thing out, which even in a car, that will be like sometime nightmare to get it out this thing again and if you try apply pressure here you can easily bust this boot here and then lose your grease not working i have replacement but i'm not doing that so uh yeah so yeah to line that up it was it fit easy into the hub but inside in here i had to kind of just kind of twist a little bit on the wheel back and forth to line it up locked in just fine Looks good. I'm happy with that. One part fixed. Still got a. I don't know. I haven't actually even found the video yet on that uh, drive line there. You can see that I need to install it from here to there to connect the four by. That's. I can only imagine that maybe the U joint was broken or something. That's the reason why they removed it. Because I do have two of them. I have this one and I got that one. So that one came in again another eBay part. I didn't know that it came with a quad. So, and I'm not sure why they abandoned this one <laughs> because it looks fine to me. It doesn't look bent. Why would you order that part? But whatever, I'm not complaining. Extra parts is always good rather have it than not have it so um anyway another update guys i mean to me that's that's a move ahead you know just putting this thing uh, missing one nut over here but hopefully my box uh 
my box from eBay it's probably gonna have some in there uh, another thing that I'm not happy with is uh, this knot I think is this one yeah does it either this or this other one let's see no the other one yeah maybe not I don't know where I put it oh it's right here this knot right here, look at that, it's being stripped, you know, I can't say that by me, but they had a hard time getting the knot out, so, uh, hopefully my box is gonna supply me with another one, so, yeah, it's always good to have, alright guys, thanks for watching, again, can't wait to hear it running, I do have a new part of this, I think a CDI or whatever that is, but uh, again, when I did crank it, uh, I didn't actually check the spark. I know I said that I did, but I didn't. I didn't actually pull the spark spark plug out. Uh, I did check connection over here on the coil to see that the ground is connected. But uh, uh, I did spray starting fluid in the carburetor when the carburetor was there, but nothing happened. So. That's why when I meant by no spark is because with starting fluid in there, I should have had some, you know, at least a pop pop or something. But so we don't know. My, we might need a new coil. I don't think this is the problem, but I don't know. Oh, yeah. That'll be for the next one. All right, guys. See you to the next. Back to square one. And just adding this thing i was missing one bolt the box supplied it the bolt right here was kind of stripped the box supplied it i didn't have this bolt the box supplied it so really happy the washer there i don't know if there's another washer there but there's more washers in there i still don't know so it's there but just put it put everything back drive line is there and there was an issue with all the drive line it was hard to to even move it because it would not steer correctly one wheel would stay straight the other one would just kind of wander around so uh I'm curious about that i'm happy so far so good back in town